part one of who knows how many. Bruder Excavator RC Conversion. As you can see, it's already been taken apart. It's uh, fairly difficult to figure out how. So I left some of it together, put some of it back together to show you. First off, the cab. There's these two little tabs under here. You got to push those down. get those out it's really not very easy and of course I'm having a hard time got to tip it up and pull it out because there's little tabs on the back of the cab that hold it in and the seat and controls are separate. You just slide together. So once that's out, you don't have to do that first. One thing you do need to do first is remove the tracks and it's held on there with four little tabs and you just gotta pop it off of there it's really difficult to get that off it's definitely not made to take apart and then to take the boom off it's mounted to this piece here Once you get the tracks off, there's a tab down here. You'll have to lift up to be able to slide this out. There's a second spot you have to lift it up to slide that out. And then once this is out, this will be inside of it. Down in here like that. And it locks the boom into that mount take that out there's two tabs on the back and one on the inside here one on the inside here once you take that out you can slide the boom out and back and pull it out and set it aside then you can set these aside and this took me the longest to figure out I left these pieces out because they don't really hold it together and just being together holds them in. So there's two tabs there under the cab. There's one in the front on the other side, the opposite side of the cab, and one in the back in each corner. Those are very difficult to get apart. I ended up intentionally breaking them off so that it's I have easy access later on and that's pretty much how that comes apart the only other things are the boom there's tabs on the top and bottom and it just separates in half and there's tabs in there or little plastic pins that hold the, the outer boom in place and all the linkages for the bucket. One thing I didn't know when I got this, which I'm pretty happy about, is the bucket is detachable. It clips on and off of the mount. So, I think there's other buckets available, but I'm not sure. I found a website, I'm not sure what country it's in, it's somewhere in Europe, that sells metal buckets and metal booms and a metal base plate for the base of the excavator which that I'm thinking about ordering one of those I'm not sure how much they are it's all in euros 
And I gotta look up the conversion for all that. That's how you take it apart. Later on, the next video, you'll see some of the modifications that I have to do. First off, I got I have to mount servos to the track frame. I don't know if that's what it's really called or not. And mount the drive sprockets to the servos to drive the tracks, one on each side. So that's pretty easy. I gotta order a gear that'll fit around the outside of this and I'll glue it on good and solid so that it's it'll have a pivot. And the only thing I haven't figured out yet is how I'm going to mount a gear to the servo horn. I think what I'll probably end up doing is getting a gear and drilling it out so it slides over this and putting a set screw through it. So that's it for now. Oh yeah, and this will have the all new Fergelli Act linear actuators, the the new L L sixteen dash Rs, and I can't wait to get this all put together and make some videos for you guys. So please like and subscribe, and there will be many more build videos of this to come.